Hey Gemini, what's going on? I hope you're very well. My name is Diane and this is Madame Butterfly Tarot and we're going to do a love reading for July. A little cheeky bonus love reading. Don't tell anyone. Shh. <laughs> um, you know, thank you so much for checking out the reading. I really appreciate you doing that. And if you feel like liking and subscribing for me, I would appreciate that so much as well, Gemini. So I'm going to pull one of these bad boys to start here. So what does Gemini need to know about love? Let me just reshuffle here. I'm not sure which one that was. What does Gemini need to know about love? Okay, you have the Six of Cups. So, it's interesting, you have the Six of Cups here at the bottom of the deck. Sorry, you have the Six of Cups and then you have Seek the Truth at the bottom of the deck here. I think, okay, so there's someone from your past here and I think you're about to get some truth from them. I think someone's coming in to tell you the truth about something, someone from your past. So who is this person coming towards Gemini? Who is this person coming towards Gemini? You have Justice, so it could be a Libra, and you have the Four of Pentacles. Let me just see what comes out here, Gemini. Who is this person coming towards Gemini? If the Empress, it could be a Taurus or a Libra. Who is this person coming towards Gemini? Temperance. We have the Page of Pentacles here. We have the High Priestess. Okay, clarify the justice for me, please. Clarify justice for me. <clears throat> you have the Hierophant. You could be getting an apology from a Taurus. Somebody was very guarded. I think this is a past energy, Gemini. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Aquarius had a past energy too, if that makes you feel any better. I like to read the new energies, but... You know, I know someone wants to hear it. There'll be someone that wants to hear about this, right? So, um, and you know, I can't, it's just for people that like new energies that I can't control the cards, you know what I mean? So you have the Four of Pentacles and you have the Seven of Cups and the Three of Swords here. So there was someone in the past who was like very closed off emotionally. Also, I think they were kind of focused on money at the time. They were kind of confused. Also, I feel like there was an element of heartbreak with this person. I feel like this person may have had their heart broken in the past and they kind of... saw you as like maybe a little too good to be true. They were confused. There was confusion here for this person. Clarify the Empress, please. You have the Empress, and you have the Mini Empress, the Nine of Pentacles. Okay. <laughs> and you have the Two of Swords. So, um, this person did not see your worth before, but they see it now. <laughs> okay? Because you're showing up here as two Empresses, basically. They just didn't see it before. I think they were very focused on money. Clarify temperance for me, please. Clarify temperance for me, please. Oh my God. You have the chariot. Clarify page of pentacles for me, please. You have the... Oh, see, they were very stuck. 
before they weren't really stuck because the eight of pit swords is someone that's not really stuck it's just someone that's been a drama queen like mm, the ropes are too tight and my foot's getting wet in the puddle mm. these swords are scratching me you know but they weren't really stuck they were just they it was the illusion of being stuck they kind of felt stuck when they weren't but they're coming in with this page of pentacles energy now they're opening up to you they're they're maybe wanting to give you, see the, the difference here? Before, they were kind of clutching that pentacle to their chest, right? And now they're, they're openly giving you the pentacle. So, I'm going to try and find out why they were stuck before. Um, clarify that, okay. <laughs> high Priestess, so you have the High Priestess with the King of Swords. So this person was very closed off before, very, very closed off. Clarify this justice card, please. Yeah, I feel like this is someone who was, they were either a player or they were kind of in and out energy. <clears throat> Excuse me, Gemini, like didn't know what they wanted, all this kind of thing. They're coming in to apologize for that. It could be a Taurus, but it looks to me like they're coming in to ask you for commitment. I want to get a bit more on this. What is the Seven of Cups, please? Um, what is the Seven of Cups, please? I'm kind of waiting for it to fall. What is the Seven of Cups, please? kind of um, surprised them and maybe it went a bit fast for them at the start because you know Knight of Swords is Gemini energy as well what's this Three of Swords yeah they had some kind of um fears and anxieties you have the three of swords followed by the four of swords so i feel like this person when you met them you may not have known this but they had kind of recently had their heart broken or something and they were actually recovering it's this person had like a lot of fear and a lot of anxiety and then you kind of showed up and i think it was a little out of the blue Clarify this Four of Pentacles, please. Um, this is a bit unrelated, but Page of Swords and the Ace of Swords, you're gonna, this is delayed news. I think it's very delayed. Page of Swords is often very delayed news, like information that you should have had a long time ago, I think. Clarify this Four of Pentacles, please. Oh, this is what they're going to tell you. Um, I see the Five of Cups poking out here and the Nine of Wands. This is what they're going to tell you. <clears throat> they're going to tell you that when you met, they were kind of recovering from a heartbreak. Hmm. Um, they just didn't... Do you know what? I think they always saw you as this kind of Empress and this Nine of Pentacles energy. Um... But they just couldn't deal with it at the time with the Two of Swords. Like, they just couldn't deal with it. Clarify that Two of Swords, please. Clarify that Two of Swords, please. Yeah. They just... They just couldn't deal with it. I think they were very suspicious. Like they, you know, the Nine of Wands is like a wounded warrior type card. They, they, they'd been through it. I know that's not an excuse, but um, I think you came out of nowhere and they had just recently had some kind of breakup or broken heart or something. And then it was almost like you were too much, like you were too empress, like you were too good for them, like they put you up on a pedestal a little bit here, like it was too much. And they were just like, no, no. 
because also with the seven of cups it does often talk about someone who thinks like it's too good to be true kind of thing you may have worked with this person three of pentacles or you might have had some kind of creative project with them or like an evening class or something you may have learned something together clarify this um temperance oh. <laughs> temperance with the star so this person was healing they had a lot of negative energy that they had carried forward from this past connection this is what they were healing from this is why they've been so slow clarify the chariot please i think this is past past energy though like i feel like this is someone that broke your heart basically because they're coming in to apologize basically clarify the chariot so they found their strength they're feeling a lot, a lot better could be a cancer could be a leo could be an aquarius you have a lot of signs here could be virgo could be leo could be sagittarius um they were very closed off when you first met them but um You know, when you met this person, they may have seemed very confident, but they actually weren't. But you probably knew that anyway, right, Gemini? Because we can read people like books. But, um... Mm -hmm. Clarify this, this strength card for me. Just give that to me again, please, Spirit. One more time, like I'm five. Clarify the chariot for me. Okay, so you have the, okay. Yeah, they had a lot of sadness. There was something in their past, this past relationship. It doesn't have to be a relationship. It could have been any kind of heartbreak, you know? But that's what they were dealing with when you met that they were healing from and I feel like they just didn't have a lot of extra to give you you know the chariot is all about like focus and determination I feel like all of their focus was kind of going on healing <coughs> excuse me and getting their strength back they're very sad about the way that this has turned out with you um, clarify this High Priestess, please. King of Wands. Ugh. <laughs> okay, this High Priestess is you, Gemini. There's you as well, at the bottom of the deck. So this person could have an ear, uh, eerie Leo Sagittarius in their chart somewhere. But I feel like you've just turned your back on this person, and rightly so, you know, if they've treated you badly, because they seem to have treated you badly. <clears throat> Because you're showing up here as this High Priestess and this King of Swords. <laughs> and see, they're looking at you like... Like they want to come in and give you this offer. But I feel like they can sense that you've energetically pulled your energy away. Because that High Priestess is stoic. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? She's like, um... She's like, stoic. <laughs> you know, she doesn't give anything away. It's like, no, not giving you my energy. You are cut off. Consider yourself cut off, um, not telling you anything, like not giving you any energy, not giving you any attention, but then they're on both sides of you looking at you and you're not looking at them. I feel like this is someone you've properly cut off. They're probably very good looking, very charming, maybe like a bit of a gift, gift of the gab. Um, they might live a little further away, you know, maybe the next village, the next town, maybe even the next country. I feel like you've just, you just blocked them. <laughs> Clarify this King of Swords, please. And you have the King of Swords with the tower. Yeah, you're just...
Yeah, you're going to get some communication from this person. The Tower and the Eight of Wands. It's going to it's going to be really sudden. I don't know how that's going to pan out, but it's going to be like overnight or maybe you'll get a bunch of messages or something like that. But it's going to, you know, the Tower and the Eight of Wands, it's something happening like out of the blue. I think they don't care by this point if it if you're not open to it, they just feel like they have to say it. Because the first card that came out is the Justice card, that's an apology. That you know, this is someone coming in to tell you their story. Um judgment. Because they feel judged. They might be very, you know, they might have judged themselves about what they did. They, they feel called. They feel like they have to. They feel like they have to come in and apologize to you, Gemini. So I don't know what to tell you. I'm sorry this is a, a past energy reading because, you know, nobody's got time for that. But <laughs> I'm kidding. I know some people want to hear this, but I think it's probably going to be very healing for you anyway, Gems. You wanna, anything you want to tell Gemini from this deck? I'm going to take this one, yeah. and I'm going to get some characteristics cards about this person as well, but you have the heart chakra and you have the devil, so is that focused? Do you see how in this devil, it's like the heart chakra as well, right? And you also have the five of cups here, change your focus. So this is the same energy as this, okay, same card as that. So Aquarius got this too, the Aquarius got the heart chakra. I can't remember if they got the devil too, but um, it's going to be very healing for you. Whatever this person has to say, you know, because maybe, I don't know, maybe they ghosted you or something and you were just like, mm, what happened? Um, or they treated you badly or something. And it's kind of been, I think it's kind of been getting in your way with the devil card here. You know, the devil talks about like maybe it affected your your confidence. You know, maybe like how this person acted or what they did to you really affected your confidence. Because that's what the devil talks about. Something that's like you're getting in your own way. And it's something to do with, it's almost like you've been keeping your heart on lockdown a little bit. Maybe you've not even realized that you've done this. But see how he's keeping his heart in a cage? It's almost like since this person did this to you, like you kind of almost kept your heart in a cage and you're like, no, nah, no one else is getting this anymore. And the thing is, see when somebody hurts you like that, it it clogs up the heart chakra because the heart chakra is almost, it's almost like the brain of the chakra system. Like when someone does something or says something is usually the solar plexus. Like someone does something you know when someone says something horrible to you and you can kind of feel it in your stomach? That's your solar plexus. Um, but when someone does something horrible to you, it tends to sit in the heart chakra. And part of it is about forgiving. Because I feel like this person is wanting your forgiveness. And I feel like forgiving this person will really help you move on. Because I think they really hurt you. So it's going to allow you to release this. You know, because it wasn't you. If anything, <laughs> they saw you as like too good for them. You know, you're the empress here twice. If anything, you were like too good looking for this person, like too awesome. And they were just like, no, I can't deal with this right now. I, can't, I just can't. I don't know what to do with this. And, uh, you know, I think with this five of cups here, because I think despite your best efforts, you've maybe been kind of thinking about this a lot. Because I think you have someone else coming in for you. You're like, if that's, is that focus? So you've been focusing on this three of cups, but you have this soulmate energy, this two of cups waiting to come in. And I think it's going to come in after you have this conversation with this person. Or maybe it'll come in after. I don't know, Gemini. Let's um, get some characteristics about this person. 
Okay, so let's see who this person is coming in to apologize. To Gemini, you have blonde hair. You have leader, which fits with the King of Wands energy. So they could be some kind of leader. They might have their own business. They might be like a manager or a team leader. Um, what else about this person coming in to apologize to Gemini? You have very intelligent. You have saucy. You have protective. Tell me about this person coming in to apologize to Gemini. Fire signs, so it could be Gemini, Libra, <laughs> sorry, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. What else about this person coming in to apologize to Gemini? What else about this person coming in to apologize to Gemini? What else about this person coming in to apologize to Gemini? They might have some tattoos. Who is this person coming in to apologize to Gemini? I'm not taking them unless they fall because this deck's a bit funny like that. Um, they are very attractive. That's very King of Wands energy though. They might be very, like, very attractive, you know, gift of the gab, charming and all this. Um, yeah, they're intuitive. That one fell on the floor. Um, this person's more intuitive, they, they might not say intuitive, but I think they read people very well. Um, so they might be very charming, like they might use that to their advantage a lot. Tell me about this person coming in to apologize to Gemini, they might have very soulful eyes. Tell me about this person coming in to apologize to Gemini. Tell me about this person coming in to apologize to Gemini. Oh, they could be an Aquarius. Or they might have that in their chart somewhere. That's interesting because this is a very similar reading to what I just did to Aquarius. That's maybe why you had to have an extra reading today. Um, tell me about this person coming in to apologize to Gemini. You have animal lover. So at least they're not a psychopath, right? Um, Tell me about this person coming in to apologize to Gemini. I feel like I dropped that one. Tell me about this person coming in to apologize to Gemini. Okay, you have outdoorsy. You have, I'm just going to take that one. You have empathetic. I feel like they have a very strong intuition, this person. Like, I feel like they read people very well. They might be an empath. They might be very psychic, but... I wanna say when you met them, because you have the Hierophant here, there's maybe someone kind of traditional. Like, they might come from a kind of traditional background or something, so they may have blocked that out a little bit. Um, but I feel like they, they read people very well, like they pick up emotions and stuff very well. Tell me about this person coming in to apologize to Gemini. Who is this person coming in to apologize to Gemini? Faithful. You yeah, have blue eyes. I think that's interesting that faithful, I just put it over the, the judgment card. There's some kind of connection. They feel very strongly connected to you, okay? I'm not sure what this person's intentions are. I'm gonna try and find out actually. And you have tough as well, so they might be quite tough, this person, but blue eyes, maybe kind of tough. Maybe they like to fight or something. And give me one more about this person who wants to apologize to Gemini. You have funny. Maybe that's how they attracted you in the first place, Gemini. And you have very wise. So, what's this person's intentions towards Gemini, please? What's this person's intentions to Gemini? In fact, you know what? Let's get it from. There you go, Ace of Cups. They want to restart this. I feel like a lot of you are probably going to say no 
right? But because I feel like you have someone else coming in. But um, they want to restart this. They're coming in with an offer. Could be a, an earth sign. It's been a very slow offer. Very, very slow with the temperance and the knight of pentacles here. Um, what is this person's intentions towards Gemini, please? What is this person's intentions? They want a new beginning. They feel like it's fated. What is this person's intentions towards Gemini, please? I'm actually going to go into this other deck here. Gosh. Every time I say that, look, you have the Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, Ace of Wands underneath that. They're wanting a new beginning with you. I'm trying to get to, like, have they changed? What's this person's intentions towards Gemini? You have the Ace of Cups again and the High Priestess. They feel very drawn to you. Like very, very drawn to you. Look at this mess. This person's chaotic. Uh, but yeah, they're looking for a new beginning with you. They are in love with you, Gemini. Um, what is this person's intentions towards Gemini? What's this person's uh, intentions towards Gemini? What is this person's intentions towards Gemini, please? Yeah, there you go. So you have the Four of Wands. So they are um, dropping all the cards. I feel like they're nervous. <laughs> you have the Four of Wands and you have the Sacral Chakra. So. They're actually coming in, the sacral chakra is all about emotions. Their intentions are to be very emotional with you and to tell you exactly what's gone down, to explain themselves, to apologize. And they, they actually do have genuine intentions here, Gemini, with the four of wands. You know, the four of wands is the, the marriage forever settling down. Um, moving in together card but the sacral chakra is all about it actually talks about fertility as well so this person might be thinking babies with you but um yeah they want to talk emotions with you here tell me about this person's intentions towards Gemini to open up that's the Four of Pentacles, so they really want to open up to you here. God, Gemini. Emotions, just run away. Um, what is this person's intentions long term towards Gemini? I think they want to talk spirituality with you as well, on a random note for some of you. Um, what is this person's intentions towards Gemini? Like long term? Three of Wands. Um, I do think it's a genuine offer. I don't know what to tell you, Gemini. I guess it's up to you. I mean, I don't see, I don't see any guile with this person. You know, they appear to have done a lot of growing up. They're coming in to apologise. They feel very, very called towards you. They're pretty, sh like they're pretty sure you're. <laughs> going to be very cold to them when they come in, but they're coming in anyway. Um, you have the Ace of Cups twice, this person's very in love with you. They're hoping that you're going to listen, because they, they are actually looking for like commitment with you. I think this person would quite like to like marry you, to be honest, and settle down and have a child with you. What I don't see though is what I was waiting for is the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. I don't see it here. I mean, the Four of Wands is this, you know, 
Let's give them another couple of chances. What is this? Yeah. You have observed the hanged man here. What is this person's intentions towards Gemini? Eight of Wands, they want to communicate with you. It's all Wands here. Six of Wands, they want to move into like victory and like they want to move on from the past with you and have like a happy future. Ace of Wands, they're very physically attracted to you. Um, they want a new beginning with you. You have the root chakra and the throat chakra. They want to talk to you. And they want to build something with you. But again, Gemini, listen, you know, you do have the four of wands, but I'm not seeing the tens. So that's kind of what I was looking for. But they're definitely looking for a new beginning with you here. Definitely coming in to talk to you. They want a victory here with you. They want a new beginning. They definitely have a lot of love for you. So I don't know, it's your choice. Uh, I'm going to leave it there, Gemini, after this mess. Hopefully it was a useful reading for you. Many thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe for me. If you feel like doing that, I'd appreciate it a lot. And many uh, blessings to you, Gemini. Love and light.